Pixie and welcome to Pixie's Playhouse. On today's episode, we will be discussing cereal mascots and trying all three of the monster cereals, Count Chocula, Pooh Berry, and Frankenberry. All right, so let's have a look at this box. This is a three pack made specially for the 50th anniversary of the monster cereals. And I love all the details on this package as well. Um, on the very um, bottom of it, you can actually see each one's hand um, with their bowl of cereal, which I think is just amazing. I love it. And then on the back side of the box, I have Frankenberry teaching you how to dance. It's got a little guitar in the hand there. Okay, so I'm going to very carefully cut these open because I love them. Uh, they're the best thing ever. So <laughs> let's just open the tops with uh, our scissors here. Okay, there we go. I'll try to cut in between so that I'm not actually cutting the boxes themselves. Okay, actually that's pretty good. Yeah, maybe I can just tear it from there. All right, very exciting. I'm just going to put my plastic aside and that was sort of like the cardboard insert that came on top of it that I absolutely love and will be saving. Just put that over there and oh my god these boxes are the best thing ever. This is just so cute. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's just uh, the real 70s boxes. The excitement level is just off the charts with this. So happy to have it and I'll show you the back as well. He's got a little flying V electric guitar here with his uh, hat. He's just so cute. And uh, he teaches you something on the back too. Um, I know Frankenberry taught people how to dance. Boo Berry seems to show you how to swivel your hips and say boo. And it does kind of on the side of the box give you an idea of what you're eating and what the cereal looks like as well. So I absolutely adore this box. Next we have Frankenberry, he's pretty cute, absolutely love him. And I can show you on the back, same as before, him with the guitar just kind of showing his dance steps. And then the side kind of shows you the cereal itself, which I absolutely just love these boxes. And last but certainly not least, Count Chocula. He's just so amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, and then if I turn it backwards, he's playing the keyboard or maybe the scary organ in his case. And then the side also will show you uh, the marshmallows and the cereal itself. So I'm just so thrilled to have these. Could not be happier or more pleased with the look of these boxes. Um, they did actually put out a Monster Mash cereal for this year for the 50th anniversary that I believe has all three on one box and they did put out some fruit snacks to go with that as well. Now I'm not sure if we'll be seeing those in Canada, but I am going to try to hunt them down so we'll see if I can find them. Uh, we're going to start with Boo Berry here. We'll put him in his little white ghost bowl here. So I'm going to gingerly open this box because I absolutely love it. Uh, gingerly opening, ooh, a little bit of glue there, really carefully opening this, really carefully opening this, okay, really carefully, oh, please don't be glued too much. All right, Blueberry can sit over there, and here's the bag of cereal. They actually look like little, uh, they do kind of look like little ghosts for some reason with eyes and some marshmallows in there. So this is the bag of cereal itself. I'm gonna open it up, have some dry, and then hit it with the Almond Breeze. Okay, Let's just kind of open it a bit so it doesn't go everywhere. Hmm, Let's see. I'll try to show you a cereal piece. I don't know, it's too tiny. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see that, but Tastes like um, some sort of fruit cereal that I'm familiar with. Not really Fruit Loops, but it has that fruity cereal taste. Of 
pour some in the bowl. The ratio of cereal to marshmallows is a little disappointing. You could do maybe some more marshmallows in the back side of that um, bag there, but you know what? Very happy to have it, not complaining about anything. So this is what it looks like. Kind of tastes like, I don't know, berry cereal, but I don't know if it's a corn-based cereal. It tastes like corn. Here's a little uh, ghost marshmallow. He's pink and he's floating. It's pretty awesome. All right. So, going to add some milk to it. And try that out. Let's get some marshmallows on there. I think it's a little grapeish. just a generic cereal taste with a bit of a grape undertone or like berry. It sends grape though. Going to be honest here, cereal itself not great. The box, 10 out of 10 horns in the air. Cereal itself, 7 out of 10 horns in the air. Still very happy to have it. All right, Frankenberry, you're up next in your pink bowl that matches and actually has little pixies on it. All right. All right, let's get these boxes gingerly opened. Okay, gently. All right. This will burn your retinas. So it's sort of like hot pink. I believe it's supposed to taste like strawberries. And we also have little uh, bats that are flying in there. All right. So you can go stand next to blueberry. And let's get this open. Yeah, it smells a little bit strawberry. Flavor is much milder than the uh, blueberry there. Oh, God. So, here's what it looks like. Same type of cereal pieces again. They look like little ghosts and uh, similar marshmallows. I think the shapes are a little bit different on that though. Oh, no, we still got the ghosts. I think the blue ones might be bats. And, oh, purple ones are bats. Ghost bats and not sure what the other one is. It's blue, could be a moon. All right, let's hit that with some milk. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe the spoon off so that there's no cross homogenation of tastes. And here we go. Mmm, strawberry, yeah. That's going to get a 7 out of 10 horns in the air. I like it better than the blueberry, but the uh, strawberry taste is very, very mild, and it's also very synthetic, but not overpowering. Box still gets a 10 out of 10 horns in the air, though. All right. Count Chocula, we've saved you for last. All right, Count, here we go. Okay. Okay. Chocolatey. And you can really see the ghosts and the bat marshmallows up against the um, brown chocolate pieces, which also look like little flying ghosts. 
All right, Count Chocula is gonna stand over there next to Booberry and Frankenberry. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna take a little bit dry and see what we're uh, dealing with here. That's where it's at. Okay, Count Chocula, it's up to you. Now let's put the uh, milk in it. And I will show you what that looks like as well. So they all basically look almost exactly the same. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my spoon off and let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the chocolate and the marshmallows together. It almost gives me like a hot cocoa-y vibe, even though it's not uh, supposed to. Mm. Okay, Count Chocula, packaging, 10 out of 10 horns in the air. Cereal, 10 out of 10 horns in the air. Count Chocula is the way to go. I love all the boxes. Uh, I don't know if uh, you're going to be able to find each one individually in your supermarket. Uh, if you do and you only want one, get the Count Chocula if you do like chocolate cereal because that cereal is phenomenal and the box is great and he's the classic, uh, you know, um, monster cereal mascot. The others are really, really cute boxes too. If you want the boxes, pick them up. Uh, for the cereal, the cereal's okay of the other two, nothing phenomenal, but uh, Count Chocula will make all your dreams come true. Now, when I think of mascots, I think of, uh, first of all, Tony the Tiger, who thinks that Frosted Flakes are great. But next I think of the Trix Rabbit. We do have Quisp the Alien for Quisp. We have Sunny the Cuckoo Bird, who's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and so am I. We have Captain Horatio Magellan, who most people probably know as Captain Crunch. Toucan Sam follows his nose to the nearest bowl of uh, Fruit Loops. We have Snap, Crackle, and Pop for Rice Krispies. Fred and Barney for Fruity Pebbles, although in more recent years they were replaced by Pebbles and Bam Bam, but I believe they're back to Fred and Barney again now. Sugar Bear can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Dig em Frog for Sugar Snacks. Lucky the Leprechaun for Lucky Charms. And we can't forget the monster cereals. We have Yummy Mummy, Fruit Brute, Boo Berry, Frankenberry, and of course the most metal mascot, Count Chocula. Now, one monster cereal appeared in two Tarantino movies. What were the movies and what was the cereal? Let me know in the comments section. I'm just gonna also give you an idea of uh, the boxes for this year. They're going back to the original 70s design. So here's 70s Count Chocula, who is adorable. I absolutely love him. And I'm gonna show you in comparison, I have this Count Chocula box um, from a couple years ago maybe around 2017, 2018, something like that. This is what he looked like. You can also make a mask from the back of it. And comparing as well, we have uh, Frankenberry, which is this year's 50th anniversary, sort of a 1970s original look to it. And we're gonna compare him to a few years back, um, Frankenberry. This one, the drawing was pretty good, but I still really prefer the 70s one in my opinion. And then I'm going to give you a comparison of Boo Berry. So this is like uh, maybe around 2018 Boo Berry. Again, you can make a mask out of him. His drawing particularly not so much a fan of, but this from this year, very much so a fan of, absolutely love and adore. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let me know what some of your favorite cereals and cereal mascots are. Um, thank you so much and see you in the next episode. That's all, folks. Count Chocula says, please like and subscribe.